here, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here of Hype Train. It's been a long time since we've been on the station. It was. Yeah, so we've actually been, we've uh, got a chance to do a few ep extra episodes. I have had Real World Combi with me today to actually watch a few trailers. I have not seen bugger all trailers for about a week and a half now. So the la most recent one that got released uh, last night would have been the Spider-Man Homecoming one. Yep. I have, Spider -Man. I have not seen any trailer footage for this at all. Except for that little bit that's actually in a bank teller machine, I think was shown a couple months ago. That's a lot, and I that's... didn't see. I didn't see all that trailer. That one's about. That is about three months ago with a TV spot or something, and then the one we're going to see came out yesterday, and I've seen it uh, about three times now. I started watching it before I went to the cinema to see the Power Rangers movie, and, it's and then the it was Rangers. at it was a slightly it was like a combination of two different trailers and the, the brand new one. So they managed to, uh, I don't know how the fuck they managed to do that technology and all that crap. Well, the new, uh, the new trailer would be like the European release trailer. So they would have, because most of the time we end up watching trailers on this show, it's usually the American release. And then sometimes we see that there's a European release that might be better. We did that with Ghostbusters. Like an, an international one, yeah. Yeah, we did the international trailer whenever we did Ghostbusters, which was a much better trailer mm -hmm. for that movie. But um, speaking of, the only thing I've seen of this, I've seen this image before for the official trailer with uh, Deadpool instead <laughs> kicking him into the water. Yeah. Uh, was... I thought that was really fucking funny. And I like the fact that Deadpool 2's like advertising has started now. <laughs> yeah, well, that that was a brilliant piece of fan uh, fan art for that, yeah. and it's very easily like I don't I can imagine Ryan Reynolds would retweet it or throw it up on his Facebook because like it would be the sort of thing to do uh, for him to do anyway. Yeah, he, he, he would he would happily post for that kind of crap anyway. Yeah. But the fact that it's like, different companies is the reason why they would show up together. Yeah, plus um, well, it was last year when it was uh, Donna Justice there was Deadpool, just uh graffiti and vandalizing the those posters for batman versus superman <laughs> yeah so pretty much the same thing can be done for you know justice league or wonder woman coming up i'm willing to bet that it pretty much like they had there's so much stuff of ryan reynolds in the suit on front of green screen that it's just so you can exploit it for anything <laughs> that you want and he does not give a shit so like you can put a cock in his mouth if you want to but it's born like to be a spray can or a beer um let's just get on to spider-man yep. <laughs> because we're getting too distracted by deadpool already and for quippiness spider-man can beat him so i, I want to see Quippy Tom Holland doing Spider Man. I want to see what the, if he's got that characteristic and he does it right. So let's rock and roll. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, so Tom, it's like a plug suit oh, from uh, Evan Yellian. So to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Do me a favor. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? <laughs> he said it. He said it. Uh, just stay close to the ground. You're the Spider-Man from YouTube. <laughs> Can you summon an army of spiders? Oh, Ned, no. Batman, right. Do you know him too? I stole a shield. Yep. Can I try this one? Captain America. <laughs> The rich and the powerful, like Stark, they don't care about us. The world's Imagine changing, boys. Time we change, too. These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Peter, forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. You leave a weapons barrier, it was at 2.30. Yeah. You missed it. So I remember seeing no, no, no. the skills of this. They, 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 they said you one offing the, the train stop in Spider-Man 2. Yeah, they are. Holy shit. That's a very different pose as well. And he will actually team up with him. What if somebody had died? I was just trying to be like you. I wanted you to be better. Yeah, I can. I'm going to need the suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Weapons of people. Hundreds of people. You stop carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. I want you to understand. I'll do anything to protect my family. Shocker. I know you know what I'm talking about. So don't mess nice. with me. Nice. And, uh, Because I will kill you and everybody you love. My friends are up there! The guy is still out there. I just gotta do this on my own. This. That's a yeah, really give spoiler it, yeah, give, give it a Just don't do anything stupid. I got this. All right. Take all those goddamn spiders and goddamn planes. Right. Okay. <laughs> so. 
There's a lot in there. There's a lot in so there. So much in there. From Michael Keaton as a vulture, which is the one thing I've been really excited to see. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he makes a very good villain choice. Vulture is a good villain choice. Uh, the reasoning for his actions being just, I'm a career criminal, and literally there's no point even trying anymore with these books for heroes around. Well, no, not, no, uh, well, maybe that's what the original Vulture is. No, 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 the original Vulture was a really, really old dude who sapped people's life energy to make himself younger. Yeah, I know, I've seen seen the cartoon. Yeah. But this here, uh, on the TVs, on the newsreel, it shows down the bottom, such and such, uh, Avengers, uh, Damage Control, Damage Control is the company that yes, the he's part company? of. Yep. So essentially, he's running. He's, he's cleaning up all the shit. Yeah, uh, damage Same control. So damage control, uh, as an insurance company in the comic books, appeared after uh, Hulk invaded Earth, and they literally needed an insurance company to manage all the damage that Hulk caused <laughs> during World War Hulk. Um, so they literally, damage control was like that's the, that company does exist in the comics. So having him, that uh, was it something Tombs, uh, Jeremy Tombs, well his name's Tombs. That's the name of the character. Uh, running damage control is a weird choice, but it makes sense because he was essentially uh, a dude that was in construction and mechanics and an engineer, and it, it works thematically. So I'm cool with that. And the fact that uh, I thought it was like, I thought he was playing a career criminal. No, he's actually playing a guy who's actually just kind of keeping his business afloat. Yep. So right. if he keeps it made, it, it cause a fire. It's the, the whole heroes worship and right, to, a fireman creating a fire to save people from a fire. Yeah. The dude, I, the dude said you just doing it for profit. I think when he says there, you know how you know I'm looking out for my family. I think it's been his career company, it's, you know, his actual family, his workers, and that sort of thing. Uh, so that makes sense. So it means he easily has his instant henchmen and people he can give the fires to as well. Essentially, the stuff he builds. Because one one of the characters that did show there that was very very pass over very quickly was the shocker with his uh, with his gloves. That was a gun. That was a gun. I thought it was actually charged. It was like, like watch a, it back a few times. That was a gun. I thought it was a shocker, but it's a gun. But they could modify that and it could become gauntlets. Because it, it, it looked like the actual like the charge and the hit from it actually looked like a shock wave. No, because he was holding it up like this, and then he. I thought it was actually a, a gauntlet that ran four arms of fist. Uh, I'll take. We'll, we'll take a look back again. Take, take a look back over it here and take a look and see. Um, but, uh, would it be bit? I want you to understand. I'll do anything to protect my family. Yeah, it's Gauntlet. The gun? Oh, it's Gauntlet, that one's Chris. So he said you want this. He does with his hand. See? It's a gauntlet that goes all the way up down uh, over his arm. Ah, because it goes over his Yeah. Yeah. So that it's and with the see the way it's got the wee lines that go dirt, dirt around. Yep. Uh that was kinda like the, the shape of Shocker's wristbands on his actual like because the thing is he's it, called Shocker, but his his attacks are nothing to do with electricity. He's actually at sound waves. Yeah. So well, like, as, as long as it's better than Jimmy Fox's one, uh, I don't give a No, that was Electro. Electro. So, oh shit. Yeah, that's that what I'm saying. Up. Shocker is not Electro, Electro is not Shocker. So yeah, and that's the way it yeah, shows him said you pushing back. I know so you know kind what of I'm talking about. Playing with the same idea. Um, so I imagine that's Shocker, and Shocker's actually one of the shittest villains in the uh, Marvel Universe. He's, he's got his ass beat by Spider Man so many times. Like, literally, Spider Man just goes up and goes, crushes his gauntlets, and then goes, like, What are you gonna do? And he's just like, Go to jail. Come at me, bro. No, he's just like, he just, Go to jail. He's like, Good man, I'll see you down there. And like, Spider Man doesn't even arrest him, he just walks away. <laughs> he's like, I'll see you down there the police station. All right, I've got, I've got some shit to do, but I'll be down there. Good. Um, he's part of the Rose Gallery. He's one of those people who shows up along with Pace Pot Heat and. Um, a couple of characters that show up all the time as villains against Spider-Man. But, um, yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming, it, definitely not an origin story. Thank fuck for that. I need one. Uh, yeah. This is the YouTube Spider-Man. Yeah, uh, no. the, the suit, the one that he got from Stark. I'm mm. liking the design. Don't know about this floating spider thing that comes off of his chest. You mean his pisser? Yeah. The old trackers, remember those? Yeah, he's, but he used to literally used to throw a tracker onto things or just flip them on. Yeah, <laughs> he's but like, you know, he's got Tony, this thing it's Tony Stark, up. who's like, yeah, this technology, so it's just like it flies over and it sticks to something. And you know, it's going, it's going, no, but it's going to essentially be acting like Red Wing from Avengers. You remember Falcon had one of those, so you'll yeah. be able to see through its eyes, through his mask, and that kind I of shit. Prefer, I would prefer it was sort of like you know, and he just chose a fucking magnet or something double sided Velcro or some bollocks yeah. like that, you know, or like literally, attack, I don't know, or literally, whatever. Use, or literally uses like web shot mm. that he actually normally does. Um, the fact that it's actually the web shot around his wrist uh, looked like it's cartridge based, so it actually looks like the way Spider Man has done it past. Like, uh, we did, there's no bio- biological Spider Man in this, it's all mechanical. We saw yeah. that from the previous. Because yeah, we don't see him being bit. You what? No, oh, there's no biological sense that, except, you know, we don't see Oh, him no, being... in the yeah. inside, remember in the 20th Tobey Maguire movies, he actually, like, he grew yep. new things, oh, yeah. that came out of his hands. I remember those. Yeah, like, that was, that was, I wasn't a fan of that. I actually like that about the Amazing Spider Man, the 
that, that he actually Andrew ex- Garfield. you see Andrew Garfield trying to build the thing to shoot them because essentially like he messes up so many times it like, gets him covered in shit from from doing it. That was actually kind of cool to show the inventor side of Peter Parker. Um, there's a lot of stuff in that trailer. I'm trying to think of it. the Avengers Tower being there. The fact the Avengers are part of it, they're in this world. To keep him low level, so he'd be the friendly neighborhood Spider Man. It underpins the fact that Spider Man is a greater hero than that. So it's essentially him rising to a challenge. Yeah, that's what the point of this is, really. So I'm looking forward to seeing Spider Man Homecoming. I'm not going to be massively impressed because I think I've seen the entire movie in that trailer. <laughs> it's showing all the best bits. Like, yeah. uh, I'm just I'm... looking forward to seeing what the character relationships are going to be like between him and his, the other school students and who the girl is that he's actually dating. Yeah. Because it really appears that he's actually like about to make out with her, unless that's a complete red herring kind of like shot, where it's like she does that and then immediately backs away from him and walks away, for a point of actually like making him look cooler or so on. I don't know. I got imagine being millions of reasons, uh, but uh, any number of reasons. I was gonna say I, I was gonna pick a hole in the one thing here, and then my own mind then solved, resolved solved, solved it. Where you know the boat split in half and he's pulling all together mm-hmm. and that sort of thing, and like oh there's Iron Man, and then I solved like. He's pulling it all together. Why wouldn't it fucking just sink when it's cut in half? And then I realized if Tony Stark comes along and he's using his little rackets to push it back yes. together. Yeah, he then that's how he seals it. Fuses together, so it may have made to solve that hey. problem. Yeah, I think I imagine that's what's going to happen. But but um, I thought that was actually a nice choice to do because uh, the Spider one of the best things about the original Spider Man series was that train scene from Spider Man Two. Yep, where he stops the train. Like that, that entire fight scene was fucking amazing. But um. And I missed it the first time. I, I I walked out of the cinema and didn't see that. I didn't I didn't know what was happening because I was I, I was just in pee, so I just left. <laughs> came back in and everybody was like kind of going like ah. And Rookie I like, mistake. Pee before the sun. I know. I know. I made those mistakes and in the past. Slowly drank the drink over. Time. So I literally went home and watched it as, like, as soon as I could. Like, like trying to copy of it back then in the day, you didn't really care. I'm going to admit it. I pirated Fire Man <gasps> Two because of that one scene. But well, you didn't pirate. You probably bought up some bootleg DVD player or DVD guy. No, no. 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 But that didn't look good. I couldn't find one available. But that's a. I'm admitting to a crime. I think the was it the the statute of limitations already passed. Yeah, it's fine. We're safe. I'm all right for that. Don't attack me, BB, BT. I think it would have been BT. I was with at the time. But anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been another uh, hype train here for Spider Man Homecoming. I've got no last thoughts. I think I just like spewed a lot of stuff there. Seen all of them. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that's the biggest problem with this trailer is that the it's shown me way too much. But. I'm liking what I see, so I'll look forward to seeing the rest of it. So the hype train will be stopping at the Spider-Man oh, station. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're yeah. pulling over to Avengers Tower, we're going to get out there. Well, Spider-Man, no, literally Spider-Man's going to jump in the front of our train and stop our train. Like, that's, I mean, if he does in Spider-Man 2, he does it for every train, the hype train stops for Spider-Man. Let's get on. He's not gonna, nobody's going to attack our train. <laughs> you say that, oh, you say God. that, but it's a Marvel Doc Universe. Doc Ock wasn't there, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. See, we'll be all good. Yeah. One of the things where I want to know where the text came from if it's not James making it, so I imagine there's going to be some some mild reference at least to the um, Osborne Hammer. family, <laughs> Hammer or Osborne. Yeah, but we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed us talking and reacting to this trailer, you can of course hit the subscribe button that's over the top of my head, or you can hit the buttons that are over on this side where you can see other episodes of Hype Train that we've done over the last year uh, because it's been a long gap since the last ones we did, or recent episodes on the channel of other stuff we've done, or even this is actually a little one that's specifically for you based on your. Um, views on YouTube, things that you've watched, they'll be a best recommended just for you. So uh, go check that out, and we'll see all you dudes in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.